Does your disk say this? Disk boot failure. Insert system disk. Press enter. Well, if you're using the HP Pavilion, uh, chances are you're going to run into this problem quite a few times. So what I've come to discover is that there is a way you can outthink the computer. All you got to do is make the computer outthink itself. Sounds crazy for me to say that, right? Well, there's a certain wire that's inside of the computer near the hard drive. What you do is you take it out. First, what you're going to do is unhook all the wires. That's right. Unhook all your wires back here. After you cut your computer off, you want to hook all the wires. Okay? Every last one that's in the back of the computer. This is taking me so long. Just a little oil. Won't work. Well, there you go. You unplug your computer, turn it off, of course you turn it off like this. <laughs> you didn't know how to turn off your computer. You just know, you just learn, especially HP. Pavilion A611 4X PC. A611 4X PC. It works on this computer, this type, this brand, so and plug the main cord. Now you take your tower. This is your HP tower. Just a sec. As I was saying, there's a strategy you can use to have the computer outthink yourself. As you know, computers all relays offer just what diodes and stuff is conveying so there's a way that you can make it out think yourself when you see that type of boot error disk registry put in installation CD or whatever as I showed you this is what you do now I'll show you exactly this is what you do as you see here this here, inside the HP Pavilion, this is your hard drive. It's a hard drive issue. It's not the fact that maybe your hard drive is going bad. It could be the fact that this is an effective hard drive, period. So, it's a good chance that that might be the problem. Amongst me and other things, but clearly in the case that moving this red cord, see this red little cord right here I'm pointing to? That one. To the far end from this part that is normally inside of here but I moved it over here to the end and then let it sit in there for a while then I hooked it back up let it register for a while then I unplugged it as you see now I have the computer open so now what we're going to do is take this red wire to the far end reattach it See me reattaching it now to where it supposed to really be. That's right here. If you can see it. Well, if you know your computer hard drive, you know. There we go. As you see, it's now closer than where it was before. It's back where it originally is. But on a safe to be on the safe side, you unhook the big one just to be on the safe side for a little while as well because that might also have something to do with re-triggering the software program which I think is Microsoft Office and I think that it could be some kind of thing they put in there so you had to upgrade to Ultima, one of those other programs, you know how they do it so, okay, we just reattached it, now we gotta put everything right together and uh, see if it works. Look, ladies and gentlemen, I just plugged back in the computer as I showed you, and look, it worked. 
He let the computer think for itself. All you had to do was take out the wire, switch it over for the, to the hard drive, retach it, and boom, we're back now working. Fully functional HP Pavilion. As I showed you earlier, the problem which I had. And as you see, like it never happened. Occasionally these things happen with your PC. So, best thing to do is just switch the switch the cores in your hard drive. Chances are there's a little 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 kink in there somewhere that's causing the disturbance where though it's not reaching uh, this proper channel. So now you have the solution to the problem. So if you need any other problems that you have with your computer, don't be afraid to hit me up. I'm always willing to will help you out. So peace and be good.